about every other week in my Greek class, I'll have a student ask me, why is that word spelled this way? You know, a letter will drop out, the vowels will change. Um, and if I don't know the answer to the question, the first place I go is Bill Mounts' The Morphology of Biblical Greek. This is, a, you can tell by all the post-it notes sticking out here. I've gone back to my office over many years, looked up something, put a post-it note, and then taken it to class the next day to answer the students' questions. So this is a great resource for understanding why Greek words sometimes change in very strange ways. And the more you use it, the more you can kind of uh, make hypotheses yourself. You, you think, well, probably there was a, a digamma there or a, a consonantal yoda, and then this happened. That You can begin to, to postulate um, reasons as you understand morphology and historical change within the Greek language more. This is a great resource. And uh, there are some of you who, who go to bed at night worrying about why Greek words have changed and why you can't explain them. And this is the resource you need. I'll mention the way to use it is to look up the word in the back. It's an, there's an alphabetical index in the back and it gives you a little code like, you know, N dash three C four noun three C four. And then you, then you have to go look at the little key up at the top until you find that section and it groups all the words that behave in the same way together has really detailed footnotes as well. I'm happy to commend that work to you. I'll mention another work that's similar. My, my first choice among these would be Mounts, but I use both of these. Sometimes if, if Mounts' morphology text does not have the answer, I'll look in this one by Brooks and Winberry. Very similar title, A Morphology of New Testament Greek, A Review and Reference Grammar by James Brooks and Carlton Winberry. It's a University Press of America publication. So, Probably of the people watching this, 95% of you who want to buy one of these, buy Mounts' Morphology. But if you really love Morphology and you can't get enough of it, maybe you should get both of these. And then if you can't find the answer here, you can check the answer here. See, I have this, I have this, I have a couple of other texts. And then if none of those work, I have the living and abiding voice of Peter Gentry, my colleague who lives and breathes Morphology. One time I couldn't find an answer to a question and I wandered up to his office and I said, hey, Peter, uh, you know, what is, what is this? Uh, why is this changing like this? And he sort of turned around and looked at me like uh, out of the corner of his eye. He goes, how much time do you have? <laughs> and I was like, I was hoping for like 30 seconds or something. So, so uh, um, you don't have Peter Gentry down the hall from you. So too bad for you. You're going to have to buy a morphology text.